With most pull shots, the cue is elevated slightly. The back end of the cue is higher than the front end, so the ball is driven down into the cloth and table. In this video, we want to look at whether or not the tip is still in contact with the cue ball when it bounces off the slate. We will look at several draw shots with different cue elevations. Let's start with a fairly large elevation of about 45 degrees. From previous super slow motion videos, we know the tip is in contact with the ball for about a thousandth of a second. This video was filmed at 3,000 frames per second, so the tip should be in contact with the ball for about three frames. Looking at the top of the ball and the scale behind the ball helps us determine how long it takes for the cloth to compress and the ball to rebound off the table slate. In this shot, we have about one, two, three frames of compression and about three frames of rebound. So with this shot, the tip might still be in contact with the cue ball as it rebounds off the table. However, during the three frames that the tip is in contact with the ball, most of the force is being applied early in that period as the tip is compressing. In the last frame of contact, the tip is just expanding as the cue ball is leaving. Now let's look at a shot with a little bit less elevation, about 15 degrees. Here, because the cue ball is being sent more forward rather than down, it takes a little bit longer for the compression and rebound to occur. In this case, about seven frames total. So here, it is pretty safe to say that the tip is no longer in contact with the cue ball as it rebounds off the slate. Now let's look at an even lower elevation where the cue is closer to level. As you would expect, it takes even longer for the compression and rebound to occur. In this case, about eight frames total. With these shots, the cue ball was fairly close to the rail, so we were not able to get the cue any more level than we did in the last shot. However, based on what we saw, with a near-level cue, the cue ball rebounds off the slate well after the tip has delivered its force to the ball.